Be sure to check out my new singing course where I teach you to take your voice from this when a man loves a woman to this. And I feel something so wrong. Hey everyone, my name is Adam Mishan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and today we're gonna talk about vocal damage and how to fix it. So just a quick introduction about myself and vocal damage. I myself have had a, a long string of vocal issues uh, stemming from mostly acid reflux and reflux laryngitis. This is something where when you go to sleep at night, you have acid coming up your throat and burning your vocal cords throughout the night. And then when you wake up, you've got a really hoarse voice, kind of like this. And for me, it has resulted in a number of different vocal issues. One being a vocal polyp that I had a little while ago. And then I've been dealing with currently uh, something called a sulcus on my vocal cord. But because I've had experience with all of these things, I've learned a thing or two about voice therapy, vocal therapy, and how to fix some of these issues that you might be having working through vocal damage. There's a number of different types of vocal damage. You can have vocal cord nodules. You can have vocal cord polyps. You can have vocal cord hemorrhages. You can have sulcuses. You can have um, swelling due to inflammation as a result of uh, laryngitis, um, inflammation as a result of acid reflux. Because as vocalists, our instrument is within us, it's very important to make sure that we take care of our bodies. But with that aside, if right now you're experiencing some vocal damage issues, what are some things that you can do to try to help the situation? Before I say anything more, my number one recommendation is to go see an ear, nose, and throat doctor who can scope your vocal cords and try to find out what the issue is. Not only do I suggest to go to an ENT, I also suggest to try to get a video stroboscopy because there's a type of scope that they do where just by the naked eye they look into a scope that's in your nose looking at your vocal cords but they also have the ability to see through video um, your vocal cords and how they vibrate under a strobe light. This can pick out many more issues than even a trained naked eye can see. Now with that said there are a slew of many different vocal exercises that you can do on a regular basis in order to help along and kind of do voice therapy on yourself, work through that vocal damage. The exercises that are most effective for these types of issues are ones that are called semi-occluded vocal exercises. The occlusion just means that there's something blocking the air from escaping your mouth other than your vocal cords. Normally, when we're singing, ah, the only thing that is in front of the air coming out of my mouth is my vocal cords. But with semi-occluded vocal exercises, what we have is a secondary vibratory mechanism which actually creates back pressure. So normally when we're singing, uh, we've got subglottal pressure. Subglottal pressure means below the glottis, which is where the vocal cords are. There is pressure pushing up to come out. When we create back pressure, we're creating supraglottal pressure, which is then equalizing the pressure above and below the vocal cords. This equalization of pressure takes a lot of strain off of the vocal cords and allows them to vibrate freely. So exercises like or 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 all these exercises are really great semi-occluded exercises to help with voice therapy. The first of these exercises we'll go through is called the lip roll. That's that first one I did. And we're just gonna put it on a three-tone scale and I want you guys to go with me. And this is something that you can do on a daily basis that's going to help you to work through that, that vocal damage. The other thing that can help you work through vocal damage is not focusing so much on scales, but more on slides. And so what I would recommend doing is sliding from the bottom of your range all the way to the top and back down at a nice, good, strong, full voice volume. <laughs> Thank you. 
Working through your range in this way helps to kind of work out any kinks that you're going to find throughout your range along the way. The other exercise you could do is the puffy cheek exercise. Again, what we want to make sure that we're doing is we're using our full voice and we're trying to keep the cheeks inflated the whole way through. The next exercise I want to give you is called the straw exercise. Preferably, I would have a straw. Unfortunately, I did not prepare. But imagine I have a straw in my hand and I'm putting the straw in my mouth and I'm going and you want to sing through that straw. The key is when you're singing through that straw, try to keep in full voice the whole way through. You don't want to go off to your falsetto. You want to try to keep in your full voice. Stay in full voice for as long as you possibly can. Give these exercises a try on a daily basis if you're working through vocal damage. Let me know in the comments down below which one works best for you. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and next to it, hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. With all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.